Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people! And today, we'll be reviewing Transformers Legacy Core Class Shockwave. Before we get on to the review, we're going to talk about Shockwave. As you know, in the original Generation 1, Shockwave was the guardian of Cybertron. By Megatron's command, he gave him the job of guarding Cybertron. And Shockwave said, Cybertron will remain as you leave it. So yeah, that's a little bit of his bio. He had to deal with the female Autobots one episode... The Autobots hijack into Space Bridge, another episode. Shockwave had to deal with a lot of stuff. And he was also in the 86th movie, where Cybertron was attacked and he was there. After that, we never saw Shockwave again. Yeah, I think he might have died on Cybertron by Unicron's hands, which is a shame, really. But now we're going to get on to the figure itself. We're going to look at the figure itself. A nice little spaceship shockwave, if I do say so myself. Details are really good. You got this satellite dish attachment. Kind of weird in a sense. But we don't have the packaging with this figure. So it is a used figure. But we do have the instruction manual. And you can hold the satellite dish in his hand and scan for Autobots. But now we're going to show off some comparisons with this. We'll start with the other spaceship shockwaves I own. Here we got Cybertalian spaceship shockwave. And of course, here is the Authentics Bravo spaceship shockwave based on the Cyberverse head sculpt shockwave. Why not? And of course, why not the War for Cybertron? Siege. Shockwave. I love that figure. And with some other variants of Shockwave, we got a bot shot Shockwave. Why not? Dare I say why not? We got Creo Battle Changer Shockwave based on the Beast Hunter Shockwave, which I do not own. That's a good skill to compare that with. And of course... Ooh, sorry about that. I kicked the tripod a little bit. Of course, G1 Shockwave, because it's precious. g one -y precious. And now we do some Core Class comparisons. Here is Core Class Legacy Kingdom Soundwave next to Shockwave. Of course, with Lord Megatron, Leader Megatron and Shockwave. And with the Seekers, Starscream, Skywarp, and Thundercracker. Why not? But now that we've done all our comparisons, let's get down to transforming it. And I've got this transformation memorized. First, we remove the satellite dish. We somehow get these to come out, turn them around. And there we got the legs all ready to go. We're going to rotate this down. Rotate his arms down like so. Get it to work. The backpack is wanting to fight me a little bit. <sighs> kind of expected that. I have to do that off camera because his head doesn't want to come on. And Shockwave's fighting me the whole time. Sorry about that. Now I got it to click. Sorry about that. It was fighting me the whole time. But here is Shockwave in his robot mode. And this looks pretty cool, if I do say so myself. And he can hold on to the satellite, like on the instructions. So he can go, scanning for Autobot survivors. Or whatever. 
It's an option you can do with this shockwave, and I dropped this little piece. He can peg it into his hand, and he can scan for the Autobots. And these fold back so you can actually have a flat backpack if you wanted. Articulation, he's got bend at the knee, ball joints at the knee, ball jointed hands, and I keep dropping that little satellite piece. Piece. I think we're just going to not use that piece, because it's a pain in the neck to try to move the figure. Ball jointed shoulders, ball jointed arms, no hand joints, head is not on a ball joint, so you can move that far due to the head head and body. But now, let's get down to some shockwave comparisons in robot mode. Transform all my shockwaves and do a comparison one by one. Next comparisons are going to be in robot mode. Yeah, so it's an easy transformation, hands down. Easy transformation to do. So yeah, I memorize all transformations when it comes to my toys. Because I'm that into Transformers toys. As much as I am into any other lines I will pick up, I will always be a fan of Transformers. But here is Creo Battle Changers, Shockwave next to this one, and this is a good scale comparison. They are the exact same size as one another. Next on the list, we got Generation 1 Shockwave, which I memorized Generation 1 transformations, which is pretty good, given my review record of these things. But here we got G1 Shockwave next to this one, if I can get him to stand. Come on, Shockwave. Because it's precious. She wanted precious. And I had to hold him because he was going to topple down. So sorry about that. And the last figure we have is Fall of Cybertron Shockwave. So that'll be the last comparison. The next ones will be. Four class action figures. But yeah, I'm good with transformations after a while. And yeah, I'm good with transformations for figures I've owned for a while. And these core class figures are very simple to transform, I'll tell you that much. But yeah, it's going to be one of those long videos. And here we got Core Class Skywarp next to Shockwave. And we're just grouping these up in a group shot. Now we got Starscream and Thundercracker. I don't have the Core Class Thundercracker, but I do have a custom Thundercracker filling in for him. Until I get him for a good deal, I'm going to hold off on picking him up until I get him for a really good figure deal. I'm just not willing to pay 15 or 20 bucks for this figure when I can get him for probably 10 one of these days. Or if I can find him for a good steal, like 10 bucks is a steal. But other than that, I'm not gonna willing to pay more than what I have to pay for him. Now we give Starscream as no rays. And then we put Legacy Starscream over here. And here we got another core class figure we have for the collection. Next to, uh, from my collection that we have. And here is custom Thundercracker, because we have Thundercracker custom, until we get the Legacy Core Class Thundercracker, 
But we got all the Legacy Core Class G1 Decepticons. There are still some more I want to track down. But other than that, I love these Core Class action figures. They're very fun and very simple. And I'm so glad to have a little collection of these in my collection. Before I move on and rock on and rock out, if you like this video as much as I enjoyed making it, please make sure to hit that like, that subscribe, and hit that comment button. And this is Eddie Hill. And before I say that, moving on and rock on and rock out. And I appreciate all your support. Now this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out. YouTube land.